Hey guys, Waifu Geek here, bringing you a video on the current state of sextants. Um, I get asked a lot during stream if I sextant spider forest, if I would sextant vaults, if I were farming a toll, if I would sextant that. And for the most part, the answer is no. And that's not to say that there aren't advantages to using sextants. Uh, for example, you get more pack size, and uh, you know if you if you invest a lot of time into learning about sextant blocking, you get that tingly feeling once you once you have your atlas all nice and uh, you know you get all these red circles here. It feels good. So after you, like, let's say you learn about sextant blocking, and that's that's not a problem. You already know about it. You, as a new player, even you spent a few few hours uh, watching several YouTube videos, reading Reddit posts, and you you think you got what it takes to sextant block, and you did it. Congrats, that's good. Now that you've conquered that, you've learned how to sextant block. There's another obstacle. The obstacle we all have to deal with at one point, and it's called PoE trade. And it's there that you'll have to buy sextants, and you're going to try to buy them in bulk. And it's not always going to work out. Now let's say that PoE trade doesn't bother you that much. It's for some reason you, you like it. Everyone likes different things, I'm not going to judge you. Elder. Elder and Shaper sort of through a new wrench into the atlas because let's say I had sextants here right if if I needed to move elder around or I was interested in a different farm or something and some of this it's not really gonna be uh, you know relevant but it's something to bring up if you have to shift this around at all there's a chance that you'll ruin your sextant blocking now uh, if if elder for example right and this is going into a different topic, I'll, I'll come back to the sextants. But let's say you needed, like Elder fell off of Spider Forest and it was a white map. Now there's no Elder or Shaper influence here. You have to go and do another map somewhere else to uh, reset to move the map counter forward. And sometimes like you might be forced to do a map near Spider Forest or like you might forget and you'll just like do one of your maps that have one of your sextant blocking. Um, or like if you're leveling a new character, this is a different point. Uh, still coming back to the disadvantages of sextants. We'll go over positive stuff too, guys, don't worry. Um, so like if I'm leveling and I wanted to do like a uh, gorge map, gorge is awesome, right? Like you get so much experience, you just go, it's a straight shot, it's nice. But like you have sextant blocks up for channel and you fucking forget about this and you do like five gorge maps and now all of your sextant blocking's fucking gone. It's just gone. And at that point you have to invest uh, more chaos to get this back. And then, you know, you lose gorge as, a, as an XP farm and that's kind of sad. Now, for the last month and a half, I've sold all of my yellow and red sextants. The only map I feel worth utilizing sextants for is shape channel. I like this farm because you can sextant block for four uh, white sextants. So you've got maze, you've got garado, you've got excavation, and you've got gorge. There are other things that you can do here. You can get yellow sextants going um, both for channel and for atoll like to affect it. It's just not worth it though. It's so easy just to get those four white sextants going. It's simple. And the reason why this is important is because you have no other things you can really put on your map that benefit something like Shape Channel. And Shape Channel is good because you can get humility cards that pretty much print out divine orbs. Um, it's just a nice layout once you get used to it. And since you can't put something like Breach on there because it's just wasted, you have to like step up your game in order to get pack size there. Other maps, other maps like, you know, Spider Forest, Vaults, they benefit highly from Breach because it's just kind of open. You get nice breaches. You put a breach on channel, you just get like a little fucking breach on a bridge. 
and it just doesn't fucking work out. It's just bad. But aside from shape channel, I don't really, I don't really see any other farm that can utilize whites. Maybe maybe shape burial chamber down here, uh, right here, right. Like if you shape up burial chamber, the sextant blocking is bad. But generally speaking, putting white sextants on this would be kind of cheap, right? Like it wouldn't be awful. Uh, but I still, even even while farming for the Doctor card, I would prefer to be in Spider Forest, where it's just a better layout for me. Uh, but that's a different topic. So, back to those maps that benefit from Breach. Uh, I feel like Spider Forest, Vault, Atoll, uh, all of these other maps that have big open layouts, like you can just Breach them. And Zana Level 8, this is another topic, but Zana Level 8 is super important to farm. Like, it's just... You double the amount of monsters in your map, like pretty much uh, every time. Um, if you if you want to, you can you can even experiment with this. You can put a rampage belt on or something like Bisco's uh, leash, and you can count the amount of monsters in your breaches. Like you just stop your rampage before the breach, uh, then fire up the breach, count how many monsters there are, because there's a little counter that shows you how many things you're killing your kill streak. Um, and then just keep track of the amount of monsters, like purposely stop your rampage counter and you can sort of do this. Um, and then I'm sort of, uh, rambling here, but if you do this experiment a little bit, I did, um, you, you kind of understand, you get an understanding of how many monsters breach actually puts on your map. And when you have that much of an influx of monsters coming in, uh, just by putting a 6C thing into your map device, bam, it's done. You don't have to do any thinking for it. You just have to do the footwork for Zona 8. And uh, if you if you put sextants onto your map to saturate your 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 pack size even more, it's not like diminishing returns necessarily. But for the amount of time that you have to put into sextant block and to buy those sextants, for me. Personally, it's just not worth it compared to the low investment of just putting breach on there, you know Now there are situations where sextants are just what you do The main one is party play So you've got a bitch boy that's buying you maps. He's buying you elks. He's buying you scours He's buying you chisels. You've got a little shopping list for him, right? This guy is buying some stuff all the time too he's selling some stuff he's that's his job now if you ask him to buy journeyman sextants to master sextants he's just going to put it on his list and he's going to get it for you because you asked him now this is a situation where sextants are you know there's hardly any disadvantage you've probably got a guy in your group that knows how to sextant block if he's doing group play um here this is where sextants really shine uh, hands down, there's no, there's no real question about it. You have so much quantity in a party play uh, atmosphere. It's like 50% per person. It's insane. Like you're gonna drop more sextants. You're gonna drop more currency. Uh, you're just gonna make bank no matter what you do. And you know, doing sextants that's gonna help you even more. But if you're not in a party, if you're a solo player, and you don't love sextants, like it's just something you just aren't passionate about you don't you don't have fun like you know min maxing the, the little circles on your map you don't you you don't like seeing your whole atlas and lit, lit up in red circles you know you know and for me personally uh, i don't really like my red circles i like to see my atlas where i'm at what i'm going to do uh, it gets really confusing sometimes with the red circles and elder and shaper like i just want to put Elder near the map, like for example, right? I've got Elder on Arachnid Tomb right now, and this usually gains me Shaper or Elder influence here, right? Um, this is kind of a pain to set up, but it's something I invested in. Um, and now it's here. And like if I had red circles going around and everything, maybe I'd miss like an Elder map or something. And like, I mean, you know. You could bring up the point waifu gate, just pay attention to your atlas. You'll be able to see if the elders on your map or not. The red circles really aren't going to do that much. And hey, like, you know, uh, you got a good point. But the red circles just add chaos to my map as well. 
not literal chaos like uh not not this chaos but actual like chaos like i don't know what's going on sometimes and so to avoid this chaos to get more of this chaos i'm going to continue to sell this and this these two these two sextants until something drastically changes about sextants that's going to be my approach I'm interested to hear your guys' approach on this, uh, what you've been doing with Sextants for the League, uh, your experience, if you've gained a lot of currency, and uh, if you've experimented with uh, both using Sextants and not using Sextants in the same farm. Like recently I did uh, 50 Vault Maps without Sextants, without Elder. Um, this is sort of a different point but it's kind of coming back to the same thing with sextants and we did vault and the currency cop number was 1794 chaos 1794 and that's gross it's not net so like after i took out investments it would be around 1300 chaos and that's for five and a half hours of farming and that's like me being sort of inefficient about the farming. Like uh, I was looking over like people's builds and stuff in chat. Um, I wasn't hard farming for five and a half hours. So if I was just gunning it, um, I could have made a lot more per hour. But that being said, it was 50 maps. So like, you know, per hour. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, let me know what you guys think about sextants. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens.